I love that you mentioned the NCAA because I, I think that fits so well into this discussion because, uh, you know, somebody was making fun of my ability to forecast and they said, who's going to win the NCAA? I said, the coaches. <laughs> It, it's Rick, the coaches, because they make all the money, right? And, and, and here's an example of student athletes organizing. They weren't even organizing for money, despite the vast amounts of money they bring into their institutions, and that may come later. They were organizing just to get better protections in their workplace, which is the ball field or the competition, for brain injuries and things. That was their initial issue. Yep. And and to me, this is a great example of the idea that people who produce something of value, that we need to be broader and more imaginative in our definition of that, that of that, what labor is in the 21st century, and more creative about how to organize. And to me, that's a great, you know, here's an old phrase that you probably remember if our listeners don't, consciousness raising. Here's a, that, that to me is a great example because it's colorful, it's in the public eye, and it's important that these kids are getting together because their coaches and their institutions aren't doing enough to protect them from permanent injury. So to me, this this is the labor movement of the future, isn't it? Or well, a reflection you know, of it, I it, guess. It <laughs> a a well, reflection of it. I think, look, Richard, I think what, what this, what, what the, what the, the, what the efforts by the players in the NCAA at Northwestern show right, is, is that it's not just people who work in a Walmart warehouse who are having like the, the very nature of their employment kind of defined away from them, right? When I when I when 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 the, when the Northwestern thing happened and I read I read their legal brief, I, I, said, I said to myself I just never thought of it this way. I always I always thought there was a lot of merit to the idea that college that college athletes and things like uh, you know Division One NCAA football are not really are that they're employees and they ought to be compensated. I'd always thought that, but what I hadn't realized was that. If you think about it for a second, it's not just they need to be employees; they are employees. Right. <laughs> and they're just that they're, they are employees now. That most of what they do in the course of their day is in the service of their football team, and that they're being compensated for it with room, board, and tuition. It's just that it's a pittance. It's like Major League Baseball in the days of the reserve clause, right? It's a, <laughs> it's, it's, a, right. it's a, it's a, it's absurd when you actually look at it. 